hello welcome to this lesson in this lesson we'll talk about the recurrence relation under the recurrence relation we'll discuss the forward difference operator okay for difference operator we have forward and we also have backward difference to we'll basically talk about the forward difference operator okay so the forward difference operator is denoted by this okay the forward difference operator is denoted by this okay we also have the backward difference operator which is denoted by this okay so when you have a given function y of n then the forward difference of y of n can be written as this okay and is given by y of n plus 1 minus y of n okay now the difference operator is what the analogous of the differential operator in calculus you see in calculus uh, when you have any function y of x then differentiating y of x from the first principle is given by this okay that the limit as h approaches zero of y of x plus h minus y of x all divided by h provided the limit exists okay provided the limit exists similarly in difference operator or delta y of our delta y of x that the forward difference of y of x is given by this when h is equal to 1 so when we substitute when we substitute h equals to 1 into this we get y of x plus 1 minus y of x all divided by 1 in the same as what y of x plus 1 minus y of x okay now the forward difference or the recurrence relation okay um they have some basic properties okay let's look at these basic properties so first of all we check um for the linearity okay so for linearity we choose two functions y and v okay and we perform the forward difference on y of v then when you have this, the forward difference of y plus v is the same as what? Um, forward difference of y plus the forward difference of v, okay? That is the linear operator, which is the forward difference, satisfy the addition of what? Two functions, okay? That is y and v. And it also satisfies scalar multiplication, where our alpha is what? Our scalar okay alpha is just a field a scalar field or maybe any real number yeah now the product true is in calculus um when you have any function f of x in the form u of x times v of x and you are differentiating this function then the derivative is given by first of all you differentiate the first function okay that is u prime of x then you maintain v of x plus you differentiate v of x then you maintain u of x so, so that would be what u of x times v prime of x okay the same thing applies to um, the product rule in difference operator okay so when you have the forward difference on y dot v we get this okay so in uh, just like the differentiation okay we differentiate or we find the forward difference of y of n and it's given by what y of n plus one minus y of n then we maintain v of n but this time around we are talking about the forward difference so that to be what v of n plus one okay plus we maintain what y of n then we find the forward difference of v of what n okay so this is given by forward difference of y of n times u of n plus one plus y of n times the forward difference of v of n okay let's look at the exponential property for the exponential property let's choose any function y of n equals to 2 to the power n then the forward difference of y of n from definition 
is given by y of n plus 1 minus y of n okay so this means that but we know our y of n to be what 2 exponent n this means that y of n plus 1 is 2 exponent n plus 1 minus 2 exponent n so you just replace this n by n plus 1 okay but in from the laws of indices we can rewrite 2 exponent n plus 1 as 2 times 2 exponent n minus 2 to the power n and 2 to the power n is a common factor so we factorize it out and then we simplify okay when we do that you get delta the four difference of y of n to be 2 exponent n where 2 exponent n is what y of n okay and this um the four difference of 2 exponent n it plays the same rule as what u to the power x in what differential equation because when you have in differential equation or in differentiation when you have a function f of x in the form u to the power g of x then the derivative f prime of x is given by the derivative of g of x times the function itself that is u to the power 12 um, g of x okay so now our g of x is what this x okay so we differentiate x with respect to x and the derivative of x with respect to x is what is 1 times the function itself and 1 times e to the power x is just like e to the power x okay now let's consider let's consider another function let's consider another function okay we have y of n we have y of n given by 5 exponent n we have y of n given by 5 exponent n so now the forward difference is given by this and this can be written as it so we factorize 5 exponent n out okay when you do that you get 4 dot or 4 times 5 to the power n and 5 to the power n is what y of n so therefore the four difference of 5 exponent n is just like 4 times um y n okay so let's look at the last property that's constant okay so we choose arbitrary constant um, just like the differentiation you see anytime you are differentiating um, if any constant you get zero okay in other words the derivat derivative of a constant is what zero the same thing applies to the difference relations so when you have any arbitrary constant c then the forward difference is given by c minus c which is zero and if we have a function the forward difference of a function to be zero okay it means that that function is what is constant thank you